Hey, this is Left Technical, and in this video, I'm going to talk about key bindings. So, first thing I'm going to do is add a list box. Then I'm going to click on the form, go down to the Properties tab, select the Events, and double click on the Key Down event. And here I'm just going to write an if statement. So what this says is if um, the keys being pressed are the D key and the control key. And so if the user presses both of those keys, then this line of code is executed. So I'm going to execute the application and press control D. Nothing's happening. And that's because this code here um, well this event actually is only registered to the form it's not registered to the controls within the form and when the uh, form is executed the control within the form list box has focus not the form so to change this I just click on form go to the properties and enable key preview this allows all the uh, key down events and the key press events or whatever um, pretty much all the keyboard events will be registered to the controls within the form so I'm going to execute the app again press control D and as you see um, it works just fine now if you were to add another key binding you should be using else if statements that is the way to do it. If you use if statements, a lot of them, then unnecessary conditions will be tested and your code won't run as fast, but it won't be noticeable. But just wrote, just write else if statements because it's better. And uh, you want to do your key bindings in the key down event. Don't ask me why. You'll just have more flexibility if you, if you use the key down event and it's much easier to um, test which key is being pressed. So that sums it up. This is Left Technical. See you later.